Test one, test one. If you can open up a, a little aisle way, we've got a, a truck here that needs to come through. If you're on the south side of the street, please move. Tree of life. There are things that we 
that we don't know we feel Come to the tree of life So this song is sung in a tradition that goes back to uh, Freedom's Eve, which was the night before the Emancipation Proclamation went into effect, which was a New Year's Eve night. And it's a song in celebration of the coming dawn and coming freedom, which we know doesn't arrive just through a proclamation. It comes when we work together as a faith community. Here we go. Here we go. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Yonder come day, oh my soul. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Sun is a rising in my soul. Let me hear you. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Yonder come day, oh my soul. Yonder come day. In English, come your come, whoever you are, wonder worshiper, lover of living, heart is no caravan of despair. Come yet again, come, come your come, whoever you are, wonder worshiper, lover of living, heart is no caravan. Come yet again, come. When the no matter Sometimes. 
vamos todos adelante siempre hacia adelante siempre hacia adelante sin mover atrás 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 Amaremos con pasión, siempre con pasión, siempre con pasión. Never turn back, sin volver atrás. Gonna end the deportation.
YouTube channel at? I fire! Uh, Occupy Phoenix. There you go, the Occupy Phoenix is where you can find these videos at. Citizen journalism. in God's sight and we are with you in spirit we are with you in love we are with you in peace we are with you in hope we are with you in justice we are with you in protest on this night for you see as Jesus Christ said in Matthew 25 when they asked him the righteous when he commended them for, for and told them to go to the right they asked, when did we feed the hungry? When did we clothe the naked? When did we visit the sick? When did we comfort those in prison? And Jesus said, you did it when you did it to the least of these, my brothers and sisters, over in Tent City. We are with you. We are with you. And God is with you. Somos con ustedes. Somos con ustedes. Y Dios es con ustedes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are with you. We are with you. We are with you. We are with you. They have about 20 years of experience of knowing. 
knowing what it is to live as an undocumented person here in the state of Arizona. I can say that I've lived in fear. I can say that I've had many nights where I cry myself to sleep. I can say many times I've been under depression and scared to drive, scared to go to school, scared that something would happen to my mom, to my family, to my friends. I was brought at the age of five by my mother who wanted a better future for us. And this was about 20 years ago. I excelled in school. I grew up in the, in the barrios of Central Phoenix. I did well in school. I did so well that I got a full ride scholarship to ASU right after oh, high school. Yeah. And then a wonderful person named Russell Pierce. God bless us all. Passed Proposition 300 in 2006. That made my tuition tripled. It went from $4,000 to $20,000 a semester for an undocumented student here in the state of Arizona. I thought I had to move to Canada. I thought I was going to have to sell my car and leave. I thought I was going to have to go to another country to really be successful, to perhaps really accomplish an education. But there were people in our community that cared enough people who helped me and helped many hundreds of students at ASU achieve a higher education because they believed in us. I achieved, regardless of Proposition, 200, of Proposition 300, I was able to achieve a bachelor's in education. A bachelor's in communications and family human development. Yeah, regardless of Proposition 300. Then after that, I didn't know what I was gonna do, I thought, Wow, I have a bachelor's degree. I think I'm going to be working at a car wash. I'm going to have to babysit. I don't know what I'm going to have to do now. And I decided to call some people that really said, we're going to be here for you. They said, we want to mentor you. We believe in you. And I said, well, I want to go back to school since I can't work, since I can't do anything really with this degree. I want to stay in school. So I applied for a master's in education, and I got accepted. And I graduated in a year and a half being an undocumented brown woman in Arizona. Woo!